Welcome to Runs on Radix interview series. I'm Christoph from RDX Works. Today here with Andrew from Chartspace. Welcome, Andrew. Hey, Christoph. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. Really awesome that you had time to come in today. Um, could you please introduce yourself to the community? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, uh, yeah, my name's Andrew. Uh, you may know me as Avant on the uh, Radix socials. Um, I'm one of the OG validators. I've been running a validator node since the Olympia Betanet. Uh, joined the community in 2020 uh, and I uh, haven't looked back since. Sounds really exciting. Um, what are you here for today? Which project? What are you representing? So, so I'm representing Shardspace. Uh, Shardspace is a uh, portfolio management dashboard uh, that will obviously launch on Babylon. Uh, it's a kind of replacement for uh, original website Radix dashboard. Uh, Radix dashboard was quite a sort of fairly static informational analytics site for network information and, and validator uh, details. Uh, but Shardspace is a sort of totally revamped idea concept. What we're looking to do is bring the, the power of the Radix wallet to the desktop. Uh, so you'd be able to stake, send, swap, mint, airdrop tokens uh, from the convenience of a desktop. Um, obviously, it uses the power that the Babylon wallet and all your tokens and uh, NFTs, uh, all the data that's held in the wallet will be represented on in a dashboard format. Wow, that sounds really powerful. So um, how far along the development process are you and when are you planning to go live with all those features? Sure. So yeah, we're looking good. Uh, majority of the UI is done. What we're doing now is with the back end integration with the gateway API and, and sort of the back end information. Um, looking to launch sort of the first of early November time. Uh, our MVP will be ready by then. Uh, and then we're also looking after that, we'll release, uh, introduce more features. Sounds really exciting. So uh, maybe to go back one step, what brought you actually to Radix and to build something on Radix? Yeah, so yeah, so around sort of the tail end of 2020, I was looking at um, uh, proof of state networks to run a, a validator node on, um, and I was lucky enough to time it just uh, at the point when the Radix beta net program. Uh, was launching. Um, so I quickly jumped on that and I was fortunate enough to be selected and, and joined the program. Um, so it started out as a sort of a, a node validator business opportunity. And since then, it's it's really evolved into, hey, I can, maybe I'll build a product, maybe I'll build a service that the community can use. Um, so you've gone from a very sort of infrastructure perspective to a more of a, a front end DAP and, uh, and service perspective. So really excited for that. Yeah, I think the entire community is very excited about the products that you already launched in the in the Olympia network. Really, really awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. um, to wrap this all up, uh, is there anything exciting that you can share with us for the community or where they can find you, for example? Yeah, so shortly, yeah. So hopefully at the, the launch of this video, we will have our, um, our website up and running. Um, we'll have our community channels, our um, Telegram and Twitter accounts up and running. So you'll be able to find us on those. Uh, however, I'm always uh, present in the, the Radix Discord or, or Telegram channels. You can find me there as well. Awesome. We will make sure that we put all the information in the description. Um, thanks for coming in today. I'm Christoph from RDX Works here with Andrew from Chartspace. See you next time. Thanks, Christoph. Thanks, everyone. Bye.